Welcome friends. In this video, let's discuss about critically endangered mammals that are present in India. These are some of the important critically endangered mammals that are present in India. Even though there are other mammals which are critically endangered in India, I have listed some of the important. Uh, okay, these are pygmy hawk, Andaman white tooth shrew, Namdafa flying squirrel, Ervinia rat, Malbar civet, Kondana rat, Kashmir stag, also called as Hangul. And this is the state animal of Jammu and Kashmir. And Sumatran rhinoceros, it is extinct in India and present only uh, some of the uh, matured individuals present in the Sumatra. Next is Himalayan brown bear and Himalayan wolf. So, for uh, for IUCN red list and related videos, please watch my previous videos. If you have not watched that, first let's look at the pygmy hawk. And pygmy hawk is the world's smallest wild pig. It is the world's smallest wild pig. It weighs only 8 kgs. Okay, it weighs only 8 kg. Uh, and it is known to construct the nest through, throughout the year for its habitat. Okay, and it is an important ecological indicator of the grassland habitat. If their number is very less, then that is an indication that the grassland is under destruction. And other species which are dependent on the grassland is going to... Uh, be in dangerous situation in future. So this is the ecological in indicator of the grassland habitat. So grassland also supports other uh, important uh, species which are present in India. These are also the critically endangered species. The, these are rhinoceros, swamp deer, wild buffalo, hispid hare, Bengal floricon, swamp floricon. Okay, these are all, also the critically endangered species which are dependent on the grassland along with the pygmy hog. And pygmy hog in India is found only in Assam. Okay, it's found only in Assam, and it ha there has been captive breeding program started in 1999. It was introduced to Sonai Rupai area in 2009, and it has been accorded the full protection under Wildlife Protection Act 1972. It was accorded the Schedule One uh, protection, and the dependent uh, parasite. Of the pygmy hog that is sucking lice is also under threat uh, due to various factors. So this is about pygmy hog found only in Assam. The next is Andaman white tooth shrew, Jenkin uh, Andaman shrew, and Nicobar white tail shrew. These three uh, species found in the Andaman and Nicobar Islands, and these are endemic to India. These are found only in India and found nowhere in the world. And these are nocturnal. These are active in the twilight and night horse. So these are nocturnal. They have the specialized habitat. They found only in the leaf litter and rock crevices. So these are the habitats. Uh, first, let's look at the habitat of this individual uh, species. Here, Andaman white tooth shrew found in Mount Harriet in the South Andaman Island, and right Mayo and Mount Harriet in the South Andaman, Andaman Island is home to Jenkin Andaman spiny shrew. And the Nicobar white tailed shrew is found in the Nicobar Island uh, from Campbell Bay National Park to the Galatia River in the Andaman and Nicobar Islands. These are the habitat of these three species. So, with this, we know that Campbell Bay National Park is in Andaman and Nicobar. Please remember. And these are the photographs of these shrews. Next is Namdafa flying squirrel. This is a unique flying squirrel that is restricted to a single valley single valley in the Nam Namdafa Tiger Reserve in Arunachal Pradesh. So it is found only and only in Namdafa Tiger Reserve in the Arunachal Pradesh. And its habitat is tropical forest, tropical forest, and it is also nocturnal, active during the night hours. So it is hunted for food by the locals, so it is under certain list, okay? So this is Namdafa Flying Squirrel found only in Namdafa Tiger Reserve in Arunachal Pradesh. Next is Ervinia rat or large rock rat. So this is a medium sized nocturnal. It is also active during the night and burrowing rodent that is endemic to India, unique to India. And its habitat includes tropical dry deciduous and shrubland forest seen in rocky areas. So where does the tropical dry deciduous forest are found? So it is found in the peninsular area uh, and its distribution is found only from the eastern guards of Tamil Nadu. Okay, Eastern Guards of uh, uh, Tamil Nadu, Eastern Guards. It's found above 600 mean sea level. Uh, the threats includes the habitat loss, conservation of conversion of forest uh, 
to other purposes and fuel load collection. These are the threats to a large rock rat, Elvira rat. And this is found only from the eastern guards of Tamil Nadu. Next is Malbar civet. Malbar civet is considered to be one of the world's rarest mammals. Okay, it is found in the western guards of India. Okay, western guards of India, and it is also endemic to India. Endemic means found uniquely in a particular place. So it is not found anywhere in the world and endemic to India and was the first re reported from Travancore, Kerala. And it is nocturnal. As, uh, and it is active in the night and found exclusively in the western guards as i mentioned earlier found exclusively in the western guards and habitat for this uh, species include wooded plains and hill slopes of the evergreen rainforest and the threats include deforestation and and commercial plantations here in the western guards commercial plantations include tea coffee and rubber uh, are grown so the forests are sometimes cleared for growing these commercial plantations so this is one of the threats for malbar civet found only in the western guards. Next is Kondana rat. Kondana rat is nocturnal burrowing rodent that is found only in India. It is also found only in India. That is endemic. It is sometimes known to build nests also. Okay. And habitats include tropical and subtropical dry deciduous forest and tropical strips. Scurp. Okay. So this is the Kondana rat. And it is known only from small area. That is Sinhagar plateau. Uh, it, is, it is found only in an area of one square kilometer near the Pune. Okay, it is found in Pune, Sinagar Plateau in Maharashtra and reported from an elevation of 1200 above mean sea level. So, this is found in Pune area. Okay, and threats include the habitat loss, overgrazing of the vegetation, and disturbance from the tourism and recreational activities. Next is Kashmir stag or Hangul. So, it is found in Jammu and Kashmir and Himalayan areas and it is the state animal of the Jammu and Kashmir and at present uh, during recent census during 2008 uh, it counted only 160 mature individuals were found okay so distribution includes dense river and forest high valley of and mountains of Kashmir valley and northern Chamba in Himachal Pradesh so it is found in uh, Himachal Pradesh and Kashmir Valley, so Himalayan areas, and the threats include habitat destruction, overgrazing uh, of the domestic livestock. So, overgrazing by the domestic livestock and domestic herders, and poaching also uh, one of the threats, one of the reason for uh, the, the the reduction in the population of this Kashmir stag. And the Himalayan brown bear. This Himalayan brown bear are found in Nepal, Tibet, and far north of India, and north of Pakistan, and found in Uttarakhand. So as the name itself indicates, it is a mountainous bear and found in the Tibet, Nepal, India, Pakistan, mountain regions of these areas. And it is extinct in Bhutan. And important thing about this is that it undergoes hibernation around October month, so because of the winter season, and emerges during the April May uh, and onset of summer season. So next is Sumatran rhinoceros. So it is the smallest and most endangered of the rhinoceros species. There are five uh, species of rhinoceros and among these Sumatran rhinoceros is the smallest and most endangered. And it is not now thought to be regionally extinct in India. It is extinct in India uh, once it was found in the foothills of Himalayas and northeastern India. But now it is extinct in India and found only in the Sumatra. And Javan rhinoceros, okay, this is another thing. Javan rhinoceros is believed to be extinct in, extinct in India and found only in a small number in the uh, in Java and Vietnam. So this is Sumatran rhinoceros has uh, uh, horn and this is Javan rhinoceros. So you can uh, ma make up the difference from this uh, body structure and all the things about this. Uh, so this is it about the critically endangered mammals in India. Please like, share and subscribe to the channel. Please uh, subscribe uh, through email. Please click here and it will be redirected to my website. Uh, enter your email address. Let's discuss directly. And all the updates are given from this link. Please click that and subscribe to that. Thank you very much.